What's up guys and welcome to Tasker Tuesday, a weekly show where I show you a new tip or trick in regards to Tasker. This week we'll be talking about voice actions, but I'm also going to show you how to write your first script. Ooh, fancy. So without further ado, let's get started. So voice actions on Android are becoming a lot more popular, especially with newer handsets today like the Moto X. And it works really good, and it, of course it functions with Google Now, but it could do a little bit better. And let me show you an example of that. So I'm going to use Google Now. Load YouTube app. As you can see, it doesn't happen right away. It wants to make sure that you are really wanting to open that YouTube app, and it takes some time, so it could be a little cumbersome to have to wait through that whole process. So the way we're going to do it today is, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be using Auto Voice, and I'll leave that link down below on the description so you can download it, and Tasker, of course. So the way it's supposed to work is load YouTube app, and it happens instantaneously. So one of the things that happened with me when I got my Pebble watch is I had to go through a series of steps in order to activate the watch. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that to give you an example. As you can see, I have to cycle through to find Pebble. Of course, you could say I could just leave a shortcut on the uh, home screen, but I don't want to clutter my home screens. I already have what I have. Um, so here I have to load, load the application and then uh, click to connect. It just takes too many steps and, of course, closing the app. Imagine having to do that every day, I know. First world problems, right? <laughs> in the morning, at night, it's just really cumbersome. There's no way in the application where you could set when to load or disload, you know, unload. It's just, it just takes too much time. So what we're going to do is uh, load the application and write a script to be able to do all that automatically with a voice action. Now, when you first download um, Auto Voice, you're going to see something like this. Actually, let me bring out my uh, Oppo Find 5. So when you first load it, depending on what phone you have, for example, if I push this down, it'll ask me what do I want to use. You don't want to use Google or depending on other third-party applications that you have, you want to use Google Vo I mean, excuse me, Auto Voice. And then go ahead and push on Always. So you want to go ahead and do that. Now, in my Oppo Find 5, you have to do this. You have to hold this down in order to execute that. On a Nexus 4, all you have to do is swipe up. A little FYI, because I know that might be uh, um, something that you guys might get stuck on. Why isn't it working? So anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, begin. Tasker. So as you can see, I'm using a voice to control Tasker. Now, the first thing you want to do is, remember, you want to download Auto Voice, and we're going to go ahead and push on this plus sign. Now, since we are going to be using a third-party plugin, make sure that uh, you have Auto Voice installed before you begin. Go ahead and push on State, and then Plugin. We're going to be using the Auto Voice Recognize. Now, if you have not watched my intermediate guide, I highly recommend you go and do that, and I'll leave that description, just so that you can understand this a little bit better. So the, vo the voice command that we're going to use, or the trigger word, is going to be Watch. In order to do that, go ahead and uh, push on edit like you just saw right now. And then event behavior, make sure you check mark that. And then we're going to do command filter. This is the word that we're going to use. In this case, we're going to use the word watch. Go ahead and uh, push on OK. And watch my intermediate guys so that you can... Uh, so I, I show you guys how you can use different words. So you can use like watch, pebble. And I'm not going to go through that because I don't want to waste time on this video. Uh, my intermediate guy just shows you how to use multiple words to trigger this uh, task. So anyhow, once that's done, we're, our trigger word is watch. Let's go ahead and uh, go back and load or do a new task. In this case, we're going to call this load pebble because we're going to load the pebble watch and uh, ah, I guess I already have that one. Load pebble two. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is load the application. So we're going to go ahead and uh, load the app. In this case, it's going to be Pebble. Now, I know I'm going a little bit quick here, but I assume this is for intermediate, so you already know how to do most of the stuff. Let's go ahead and go back. Now, this is where it gets fun. Or the next, not this step, but the next step. Now, a little FYI filter. If you guys ever use filter, it's sometimes I forget where things are at. So if you just type in, for example, I want to do a wait command or, or an action. Uh, I just type in WA, and there it is, wait. So I want to wait for one second. Okay. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to load the Pebble app. 
It's going to wait a second and then we're going to run a script. Now, so let me show you. It's going to load Pebble. It's going to wait a, um, about a second just to make sure it's loaded and it's going to push on this click to connect button. But how do we tell Tasker how to do that? It's really simple. Assuming that you are rooted, of course, I put that disclaimer at the beginning, and you have developer options unlocked, then you need to make sure and push on that and go to pointer location. Okay, Now you're going to start seeing something funny like this and a, a couple parameters up here, X and Y axis. So let's go ahead and go back to Pebble. Now here, when you hold this down, you could see the X and Y axis up here. It might be a little difficult to see, but try this on your phone. And right dead center is about uh, 370, 895, something like that, 380. So you could just play with it. Basically, it's giving me the X and Y axis of this location. We're going to do, we're going to tell Tasker to push on that location. So make sure you write that information down. As you can see, I already pushed on connected. Let's go ahead and turn that off because it is uh, annoying. So let's go ahead and go to pointer location and uncheck that. Let's jump right back into Tasker. And now we're going to run a shell script. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Uh, and I believe that's under uh, task, task, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, just do shell and then run shell. There it is. Okay, so the command, this is really important. We're going to say input and then space tap. So we're telling Tasker it's going to be an input tap. Okay, now remember the uh, coordinates. In this case, it was, I think, 370, uh, 890. Okay, 370, 890. Now, this is very important. You do need to check mark to use root. Otherwise, it won't work. Let's go ahead and hit uh, go back. Now, we want to wait maybe about two seconds. This depends on what you're trying to do. Okay, so we're going to do another wait. Just want to make sure that it's executed and everything's you know working properly. So let's do a, go ahead and do two seconds. This may vary depending on what you're trying to do. So now we're, it's going to load the app. It's going to wait a, about a second. It's going to push on that, wait about another two seconds to make sure Bluetooth is connected, and then we want to kill the app. Okay, Go ahead and uh, kill app. <clears throat> Pebble. Oh, Pebble, where are you? Pebble. Okay, let's go back. Now, let's go ahead and test it to see if it works. So let's go ahead and push on that play button. It's going to load the app. Wait a second. Push on that connect. Wait another two seconds and then kill the app. Oh, I know what happened. See, this is what happens when you don't check mark to use root. Okay. <laughs> so now let's actually try it using our voice. So assuming that I just woke up this morning and my Pebble watch is not connected, load Pebble watch. Kill. Done. Same thing. Now it's loaded. You can see it's connected. Now let's say I'm at, I'm at, it's at night. Ugh. It's night, night time. Gosh, can't talk right now. It's night time and I'm done using it. Turn off Pebble Watch. Okay. There it goes. That's simple. Now the whole turn on, turn off, that's just for effect, I guess. Uh, but you don't have to say turn off. In theory, you could just say, and sometimes I do this, I just say watch. Because that's really the trigger word. But I'm so used to just saying like turn on lights or turn on this or turn off that, you know, so you could see it turned on. So anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with this information. Um, in theory, you could say, you know, load YouTube app, send to cast, you know, whatever. I mean, this is the beginning of a lot of things to come uh, when it comes to voice control. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and do subscribe as I do Tasker Tuesdays every Tuesday. So anyhow, guys, share this video with everybody. Um, trying to, you know, of course, build the audience. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Adios.